us. That's what Hosanna means. How is Shah now in the Hebrew or the Lashuan Kodash? Okay, it means save us now. Thou son of David, right? Which that also cuts that virgin birth right now. Because how could he be called the son of David if, he, if, if Joseph wasn't his father? That show people don't understand the scriptures, man. Read that again. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. To the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And they knew the name of the Lord. They knew it was Yahweh. So they blessed him in the name of the Lord. So that, that also cuts these guys out here that's teaching that the name of the Lord isn't important. And, that, and it also cuts some guys that say that such thing as the uh, miraculous conception or, or the virgin birth. That scripture alone cuts all that. Keep reading. Hosanna in the highest. That's right. Keep reading. And when he was coming to the land, I mean Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? Uh -huh. And the multitude said, this is Yehoshai, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. So the people knew that he was a prophet. Okay, that was the point. Now go to Matthews 24 and 3. Okay. So, you know, because you get a lot of these simple-minded, especially you, these Negroes down here in the South, you love you some Martin Luther for King. You glorify Martin Luther for King. Your poor child even passed and try to emulate Martin Luther for King. Hell, Obama tried to emulate Mar Martin Luther for King. Okay. But what he was speaking was, was total blasphemy, man. And it was not of the Lord. That's why he got X'd out, man. The Lord had put the spirit on that gunman to peel back his, his, his top, man. Okay? Because that dude was wicked, man. And he knew he was going to get put to death. That's why he said, I, I know I ain't going to make it there on the mountaintop with you, but we're going to make it into the promised land. Paraphrasing. Okay? And that, that's going to be the same fate of all you Martin Lucifer King type pastors that preach that message, man. Because the Lord was never with Martin Luther for King, all right? And what he was teaching, that's why he got X'd out, man. Right. Talking about we should be united with Esau. Well, let's read what the Lord said. Matthews chapter 24, verse 3. Yep. And as he sat upon the mountain of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of, the, of thy coming in the end of the world? And we know that that word world right there is eon, which means age or a, a period of time. What period of time is that? The end of Esau, the so-called white man's rulership, which he is that fourth beast, okay, that you read in Daniel's chapter 7, all right? And he's also that little horn that you read in Daniel's chapter 7, which that's talking about America. Because in Daniel chapter 8, that little horn is talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. When he had persecuted the Jews during the time of the Greeks when they was uh, forcing the Israelites to eat pork and deny being Israelites, calling themselves Greeks and Antiochians. Okay? Those are the Gentiles who Paul went to. The descendants of those, those Jews that had followed the ways of the Greeks. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of, beginning of it that followed. That's right. So prior to the kingdom of heaven coming on the earth, all right, that's when the Lord come back very soon. The so-called white man was going to be set up and have power over the whole earth. And that's the time we're living in now. But his time is about to be over because he's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right, read verse 4. 
Matthew's 24 and 4. Matthew's 24 and 4. Uh huh. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. So Martin Lucifer King deceived many of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Many of the older generation. Because them docile, simple minded Negroes, they should have known that the white man was not for them. Okay, when he was sicking German shepherds on your ass and, and, and peeling back your clothes with them water hoses, all right, and batoning the hell out of you and gunning you, all right, and burning you up, okay, that wasn't in love. That was out of hatred, man. But yet, them same Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, they was getting persecuted too around that time, all right? They, they taught their children love the white man. Hate your own self, but love the, love the white man. So that's why you got these 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 these, these Negro, Negro, Latino, and Native American men and women putting in color contacts over their eyes, bleaching out their hair, bleaching their skin, talking like white people, hating their own selves and hating hating their own people, man. How ass backwards is that? But that's, that's, a lot of them are two thirds and a lot of them gonna be destroyed, man, in these upcoming days, okay? Now hop to verse six. Uh, Matthews 24 and six. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Now, when it says ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, you hear wars on the news, okay? When you look that word up, wars, it means fights, conflicts, battles, disputes. You see that all the time on the news. Okay, and then it says rumors of wars. When you look up that word rumor, it's talking about the preaching of wars. Okay, which we're doing. And the Lord was preaching back, preaching this back before he got crucified, which this is a chapter that your pastor should be going through every week if he's in them churches breaking down the scriptures and showing you the signs of the time. Okay, he said that there should be rumors of wars. And you heard that. And the Lord's going to destroy all you fraternity, sorority, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? He's going to destroy y'all, man. I'm sorry. The Lord's going to destroy y'all. Yeah. Because we know that y'all y'all worship Greek gods and stuff, man. All that stuff goes back to the Egyptians and, they got, and, and back to the Greeks because the Greeks got this stuff from the Egyptians. There was a group of people before the Egyptians. I think which are the Babylonians? They were called Babylonians. They were called no, they were called Babylonians. Alright, well, you're gonna be destroyed. I'm just letting you know. Fucking. See, that's them Hellenized niggas back then, man. It's not new. Them the same Hellenized. And, and Judas Maccabees, the Maccabees was killing niggas like that, man. Because them, them the same type of niggas that would, that would love the white men. Okay, and a lot of them niggas, they get up into them fraternities and stuff so they can join secret societies such as the Boule, so they can uh, become Masons and get benefits and shit. So they know what they worship. They worship Satan, man. That's why I told them they're going to be destroyed. That's right. They try to mock that shit off, but the Lord, gonna, he going to deal with them, man. Sick ass niggas, man. Keep reading. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So these, these wars that we come out here and break through the scriptures, the race wars, which we're going to highlight today, and the Third World War, okay, it's all mentioned in the scriptures. Keep reading. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. Keep reading. For nation shall rise against nation, uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom. Now right there it says nation shall rise against nation. No. Sorry. Okay. Nation against nation. Now when you look that word up, nation right there, it's Greek. Strong's Greek 1484, which is ethnos. Which when you look the word up, ethnos in the dictionary means a combination from the meaning of race, people, okay? And then and from the blue letter, it says, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genos. And when you look up genos, it means race, stock, kin, gender. So what is that talking about? The Lord said, nation against nation, ethnos. 
which goes back to Genos, which is talking about races. So the Lord prophesied about races, fighting.